Jennifer Chaplin filling in for Linda Thompson and Suzanne Jones. Dear Heavenly Father, who has given us this good land, we humbly ask that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will. We belong to something that is for greater and far more exalted than any individual. We are so fortunate to live in the greatest preserve of liberty that has ever existed. We are Americans. Our country was created by founders who pledged their lives and sacred honor because they believed in the power of ideas to make men free. Now our nation is in trouble and needs to be defended and saved by the kind of people who believe in these same ideas. Patriotic Americans must fight for the constitutional principles that made us great especially that no one is above the law. Lord, we pray for guidance as we search for solutions. Now we ask that you bless this food and those who prepare and serve it. Be with us until we meet again in September with new ideas and energy to do your work. In your holy name we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I wanted to just share with you all. To, I hope you enjoy the red, white, and blue. We're all getting ready to celebrate. Flag Day is the first thing coming up, but the 4th of July will be here before you know it. And so in keeping with our free nation, I have some, a saying that Ronald Reagan said once I want to share with you. He said, above all, we must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of, arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. So, please join me in the renewal of the Pledge of Allegiance to the United Flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. I just wanted to mention nine years ago today, Marcia passed and Bob Reagan. I welcome everyone to the annual Sacramento Republican Women Federated Membership Team. I will now introduce those seated at the head table Maxine Rodowitz, our second vice president and membership chair. Uh, Sue Scott, she's our treasurer. Bev Acker, recording secretary. Marty Duro, parliamentarian. To my right, Bev Anderson, our first vice president and program director. Michelle Steve, executive director of St. John's Women and Children's Shelter in Sacramento. Assemblywoman Shannon Grove, our featured speaker. And I'm your president, Terry Lynn Alexander. I would like to introduce the new members. Barbara Ellison, Joan Gann, Lauren Esperas, Joan Rockenham. Is Joan Pearson here today? Okay, there's Joan. And Paula Seeger. Welcome to all the new members. Our elected officers here today are Carl Burton, Sacramento County Republican Party Central Committee and the President of the Republican of River City. <laughs> Is Ruth Cronin here? Let me see Okay. There's Ruth. Okay. <laughs> She's our Sacramento County Republican Party Central Committee. And Lauren Meeks is also our new member, and she's also the Sacramento County Republican Party Central Committee. Our guests today are Mary Beth Randall, who's Mary Beth, and Rodney Stanhope, he's way in the back, Francie Rodowitz, Fred Hildebrandt, 
Hildebrandt. John Dupree. Elizabeth Empton. Jimmy Valley. George Riley. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? Anybody else here? Okay. I also want to acknowledge our club's past presidents. Would all the past presidents please stand? Presenting the minutes from our May general meeting is Secretary Bev Acker. Uh, there are copies of the minutes on each of the tables if you'd like to read them. And um, that's it. Thank you. Are there any corrections? The minutes stand approved as presented. Sue Scott, our treasurer, will provide our main treasurer's report. Thank you. Uh, you should have copies on your uh, table. Uh, the balance on hand at uh, the beginning of the month was our total disbursements for the month. And at, as of May 31st, our balance was Thank you. Carl, would you like to say anything? Or um, Fred Hildebrand? I heard there might be something you want to say. When is there? Never talking that I don't want to say something. First of all, I want to thank all of you ladies for volunteering and contributing to the Republican booth that we recently had at the county fair. And on all of your tables, I place pictures of the Republican women who showed up and helped us at the fair. You will find uh, uh, Bev Anderson's uh, picture there. You will find Lynn McLean's picture on your table. And you will also find Lauren Meek's picture up. Uh, they all came out and helped. I also wanted to remind you that we have the new citizenship ceremony coming up on June 12. It's going to be at Rayleigh's Field, and anybody that wants to come over and help us register new citizens and congratulate them on becoming Americans, uh, feel free to come on out and help. We need help from at least 9 o'clock until about 12. I also want to remind you of a couple other events that are coming up. One of them is on uh, June the 15th. Uh, we will probably have a booth, or at least I hope we will have a booth. I'm in the process of making sure we do right now. Uh, June the 19th is the last day that there were any, the last of the slaves were freed in the United States when the Union armies marched into Texas and they freed them in Galveston, Texas. This is now a state holiday in Texas. It is a holiday in 42 states around the country. And anyway, there's going to be a great big old celebration over at Land Park on the 15th. And uh, we, we're going to be out there, right, Lauren? Yeah. And we're going to have a booth out there, and we're going to let everybody know in the African American community that uh, we're, com we're proud of their accomplishments. We will also be celebrating, or we are celebrating this year, the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. And then all of you that live in Gold River, or is that Rancho Cordova? I forget which. What's coming up on July 1st and around the 4th of July? It's your 10th anniversary. You've been a city for 10 years. And so guess what? We're going to have a booth out there. And we're going to congratulate you on all the great work. You know that Rancho Cordova is the third largest concentration of businesses in our community. That's where the third largest pe uh, number of people are employed. And uh, you guys have really made great strides out there. And we want to thank you for all your work. And stop by the Republican booth or come and help us that day. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Greg? Thank you and good morning. I think it's still morning. No, it isn't. We're on again. Uh, last, uh, 
time I had the privilege of being here, we talked about Jim Brulte. We talked about the CRP, the Republican Party for the state, and volunteers. Uh, basically, that's what I talk about, those three things. With respect to Jim, uh, he was here. Uh, he was in Placer County. Uh, he was in uh, Sacramento uh, Friday night at an event, the Lincoln Reagan dinner. How many of you were there? Wonderful. And did you see him in Placer County? Any of you? Yes. He is getting around, and that's the problem. He can't get around. He can't get all over where he would like to be. And uh, again, he has uh, uh, the qualifications that uh, are needed, sorely needed for a leader at this time. However, he only has four employees. He announced that Friday evening. But you know what? That's one more than he had in January. So things are moving along. What a percentage increase. It's pretty good, isn't it? We have to look at things that way in a very optimistic light. I don't want to go on about Jim. I've raised him before, and you know his qualifications. The party, actually the party is in worse shape than we thought. Jim announced Friday night that it had been over a million dollars in debt when he took over, and the previous number, which I had mentioned here, was 800000 So we're finally beginning to get it all together, all the bad stuff in one big pile, and uh, we're going to attack that. In fact, he's going to begin to devote himself to financing uh, in the very, very near future. So that is what we need to do for the CRP, is to get it together, to get it out of date, and to make it meaningful to you, to groups like this. Finally, volunteers, you are really the heart of the party. You are not only what remains, but you are growing. You have new members, that's very good. We don't find that in many groups, but we have to do a lot more of that. I don't want to continue to uh, uh, right here. talk about what volunteers do because you simply do it and you know what needs to be done. We're getting close to the 2014 elections, however, so we have to begin to feel a sense of urgency. So let's get going, guys, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.